Hello, all JoinerCAD fans. In this video, I will show you how to add the hardware items to your model. These elements are not only represented in detail in the BOM, but also carry additional hole sculpting information, i.e., an inserted screw with the hole geometry will make the exact holes exactly as they should be to install the corresponding hardware in the furniture. For the sake of simplicity, I have made a few sketches that are now shown on the screen. These sketches, i.e. the endpoints of the sections drawn inside them, will be used for the insertion of the hardware. This is handy because as the geometry changes, the sketches can also change, becoming longer or shorter. Accordingly, the hardware will automatically adapt to the changed situation. I will start with the MITRE Minifix connection. I select from the sketches and turn on visibility for bottom minifix and top minifix sketches. Next, I insert a double-sided minifix from the hardware library. This minifix element is included in the Joiner CAD installation. So, once you have downloaded our sample, you will be able to find it and the other hardware elements used in this video and use them in your work. Using the standard Fusion 360 Move Copy command, I change the orientation of the inserted minifix component to the orientation required for its placement in this particular case. Next, using the standard Fusion 360 joint command and using a rigid connection, the minifix connection is inserted at the locations where the endpoints of the sketch section are located. The same minifix hardware element is copied and rotated to the correct angle again using the move copy functionality. In the meantime, the joint command is used to place it at the target point. The rest of these minifix components will be inserted in the same way. Now it is time to insert the last minifix hardware element and remove the visibility of the left, bottom, and top minifix sketches. The left and right shelf sketches that will be used to insert the shelf supports are now enabled. Shelf support elements are loaded from the JoinerCAD hardware base. Then, again using the standard move, copy, and joint commands, they are positioned in the locations defined in the sketches. The shelf supports are also added. The next step is the placement of the legs. This is similar to the hardware, but instead of using a section in the sketches, a simple rectangle is used, the vertices of which will serve as fastening points. These locations correspond to the geometric centers of the fixing plates for the legs. By inserting a leg into the model environment, and using the move, copy, and joint commands, each leg is positioned at the correct angle and location. The work on the placement of the hard work is finished. The visibility of the leg sketch is removed and it is now possible to review and assess whether all the hardware is in the correct positions. Thank you for your attention.